Developers can now allow their clients to enable or disable two-factor authentication, also known as 2FA. We currently have an example in Python showing you exactly how you would enable it as well as disable it. But just go ahead and log into an account, do license only. I don't have a 2FA code yet. Then I'll log in. Then down here you'll see enable or disable. I will go ahead and click on enable. You'll notice that the first request that you make will generate a secret code as well as a QR code that you can scan if you're doing it from your mobile device. Once you copy this code or scan, you will simply paste this into your authentication app of choice. Here are a few options that you can use if you're not using 2FA or if you are new to it. These are all highly reputable applications that many people use. So you shouldn't have any issues with setting it up. Once you paste that code in there, you should be generated a six digit code. You can go ahead and just paste that six digit code and then press enter. And then you will see the response is 2FA has been successfully enabled. Now I'm just going to let this close out really quick. And just to show you that this is working, I'll go ahead, try to log in again. 2FA account, no 2FA code, and then 2FA code is required. Close this. And then disabling it is just as easy. So I'll go ahead and log in. DFA account. I'll get my six digit code, paste that in. And then I'll just click two to disable the code. It will ask for my six digit code again, paste that in. And now it has been successfully disabled. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions or comments or concerns about this, Feel free to view the links down in the description below. You'll find our documentation there, as well as a few examples that we have updated already, just for you can get a better idea of how it properly works. Thanks for watching.